another example, okay, involving, okay, what we call as a covalent bonding, but it's actually known as coordinate dative bonding. What is coordinate dative bonding? Coordinate native bonding is a special type of covalent bonding. Okay, uh, how special? I just show you. Okay, one example of coordinate native bonding is with NH4. Okay, NH4. How do we get NH4 plus ammonium ion? We get ammonium ion from ammonia being added to hydrogen ion. Okay, ammonia being added to hydrogen ion. Now, since we have ammonia, I'm just going to actually take this ammonia over here. Okay, I'm going to actually paste it here. Now, I want, okay, ammonia reacting with H+, plus, okay, so I, uh, this one I don't need, yeah, one lone pair and three bonding pair. Now, H+, plus, okay, H+, plus, it means that they don't have any electrons left. H plus means they have one electron. Okay, they actually lost that one electron. So H plus, that's nothing. Okay, that's nothing. Now, if you look at H, okay, H, hydrogen is one. It's supposed to be one as one. But now H plus, it means the S orbital, okay, the atomic orbital, they are empty. They can actually get or they can actually put two electrons in. Okay, what happens over here is when you have H plus here, okay, when you have H plus over here, what happens is they will actually, okay, if I have something like this, they don't have any electron. What happens is the lone pair of the electron over here from the nitrogen, they will be donated directly to H plus. Okay, they will be donated directly to H plus. So they will form some sort of a covalent bonding. It's direct donation. Previously, remember, they share. Okay, they share. But this sharing is a very special type of sharing. So if I want to actually draw this H+, plus, the best way to draw is going to be just put a circle there. Okay, and then this is H. This one you can just directly put in the middle. Okay, do see the difference? dot and x but this one is two dots only so the entire thing will become plus that is ammonium ion okay it means that if i make it simple if you have ammonia okay ammonia ammonia has okay if i just draw ammonia bonding pair okay and then it has one lone pair what happens over here is okay the lone pair is given directly to H plus. Okay, it's given directly to H plus. Once it's given directly to H plus, this entire molecule become ammonium molecule. Okay, it's a special type of covalent bonding. Okay, it's a special type. Is there any other example? Yes, we have a lot of examples. Okay, I'll give you one more example. Okay, one more example is going to be Al2Cl6. So, uh, yeah, can I ask a question? Uh, the, so the electrons that are with the the hydrogen ion, mm -mm. do they because do they are they considered as lone pair or bonding pair? Since they are bonded, they are considered to be bonding pair. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, later we will actually when we learn about shape of molecule. Okay, we will actually learn more on that. Okay, because uh, they will determine the shape as well. Okay, the, they are considered to be bonded. Okay, they are bonded. Even though they are not from the, uh, uh, the electrons are not from nitrogen and hydrogen. It's only from nitrogen, but they are still being bonded. So it's still considered to be bonding pair. Okay, now for Al2Cl6, how do we get Al2Cl6? Before I just make things more complicated, I'll draw something like this. It's much more easier to see. Just imagine Al, okay, they can actually join with Cl. They join with Cl, they join with Cl. And if you take another molecule of AlCl3, okay, they join with Cl, 
they join with CL, they join with CL. What happens is each CL, okay, they have seven valence electron. Okay, one is in charge over here with bonding over here. So you have another three lone pair, okay, for each CL. Same over here, three lone pair of electron, the same. Okay. Now, do remember aluminium, okay, if I write down for aluminium, aluminium is 13. It's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. Now, take note, 3p1 means only one is filled. You still have empty orbitals for the electrons to come in. So what happens over here is one pair of electrons from the lone pair from the CL, they will go towards AL. They will go towards AL. The same thing will happen somewhere here. They will go towards this AL. So overall, they will form AL2CL6. So how many coordinate dative bonding is being formed? Two coordinate dative bonding is being formed. Is that clear, guys? So in order to get okay, coordinate dative bond, okay, what you need is you must have lone pair of electrons and you must also have a species or element that can occupy those lone pair. It means you must have the atomic orbitals to actually put the lone pair of electrons. So not all will be able to do that. Okay, not all will be able to do that. In your syllabus, okay, the one that you must know is ammonium ions. Okay, and you must know about Al2Cl6. Okay, there are other examples as well, okay, which I can actually give you. Like, uh, I'm very sure you know about this H2O plus H plus. We know that HCl, okay, when they dissolve in water, they will give you H plus and Cl minus. But this hydrogen ion, okay, they do not actually, if you say something is acidic, okay, what happens is, this hydrogen ion will join with the water molecules and they will actually form H3O+. Uh, this is another uh, molecule which is known as hydroxonium ion. This hydroxonium ion is result of uh, coordinate dative bonding as well. Okay, So if I draw for H2O, oxygen, six valence electron. Okay, So Ignore the circle, yeah. I just want to actually show you very fast. They need to share the electron with hydrogen. So hydrogen and hydrogen, one from each hydrogen. So you share six valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this should be the, the structure okay, for water. And they have two bonding pair and two lone pair. They are going to join with H plus. So it means the H plus, they don't have any electrons. So what happens? They will give the electron pair directly to this H and you are going to have a hydroxonium ion. This is another example of coordinate dative bonding. Okay, because H plus means the one of the electron already left so they can receive the uh, lone pair. they can receive that lone pair. So this one is going to be the structure, okay? The structure of, okay, uh, uh, before we learn about shape of molecules, so I just taught uh, you about all this coordinate dative bonding and so on, okay? Do you have any question up to here?